Hi, this is Jim Moreland from Moreland Guitars. Um, I've got a couple of OMs uh, I'm going to demonstrate. Uh, one of the questions I get asked a lot is, uh, what difference does a, uh, the woods make in a guitar? Uh, you know, somebody wants a, a particular kind of wood, and they say, well, what's, um, what's a Coco Bolo guitar sound like, or what's a mahogany guitar sound like? Well, I have two um, very similar guitars here uh, that I'm going to play. Um, this one uh, is an OM, an orchestra model, kind of a, a mid-sized guitar. Uh, it's got an Adirondack spruce top, which is a very stiff uh, spruce. And it's got a Coco Bolo back in size. Coco Bolo is a, a very dense, hard rosewood. It's a very pretty wood, kind of a, an orangey uh, rust color. Um, this guitar has a, a really nice sound. It's, it's very open, uh, very balanced across all the strings. Uh, it's got a nice bass. Uh, it's not a boomy, overwhelming bass like a dreadnought. It's a, a little bit more of a balanced bass. Uh, it's got a nice crisp treble. Um, uh, pretty nice across all the strings. It's a, a, a very nice sounding guitar. This is my uh, Prairie model. It's also an OM. It's the same same body sh uh, shape and size. Uh, this one has a Sitka spruce top and it's got a mahogany back and sides. Uh, the big difference between these guitars is the uh, the back and sides, where mahogany is a fairly light, um, relatively soft, weak wood. Uh, Coco Bolo is a very hard, dense ro uh, rosewood. Uh, the main difference I hear in these two guitars is the bass notes. Um, the, the back of the guitar mainly affects the, the bass response of the guitar. They're supposed to have a nice bass, a uh, nice balanced sound to them. Uh, all the strings are pretty even. Uh, they both have a nice crisp nice crisp trebles. Um, the spruce tends to give you a nice bright treble sound. Uh, the difference is the, the bass notes. Mahogany tends to be a little bit uh, lighter, a more open, airy sound, whereas the Coco Bolo tends to produce a little darker bass, a little, little heavier and deeper. Here's the Coco Bolo. To my ear, this is a, a little bit richer bass to it. Uh, it's not a huge difference, but um, it's probably mainly due to the, uh, the, the heavy, dense uh, Coco Bolo. Uh, this guitar is also a little bit brighter, um, probably because the Adirondack top is a little bit stiffer than the Sitka Spruce. Gives you a little bit brighter, crisper mm. trebles. Uh, this one also has a little bit longer scale length, which gives you a little bit more volume. Uh, so there's a, a few subtle differences that, that make a difference in tone. This guitar is similar, but it, it's, it's different. Um, this is an L double O shape, which was used by Gibson back in the 1930s. Uh, it's slightly smaller than the OM. It's got a, a, a tighter waist to it, a little different shape. Um, body's not quite as deep. This one has Indian rosewood back and sides. It's also got a um, Adirondack top. It's got a, a shorter scale and a 12 fret neck joint as opposed to the, the OMs, which have a 14 fret neck joint. Uh, this guitar
guitar has a, a fairly bright treble sound, a little brighter and crisper. Uh, the bass isn't quite as big as the, uh, the OMs, not quite as deep and rich. It's still got a nice bass sound, but not, not quite as much as, a, as the, uh, the, the OM. It's a little more focused sound, a little more uh, focus, especially on the, uh, the, the treble, the brightness, the crispness of the sound. This would be a nice uh, finger style guitar. stiffer sound than the uh, the L double O. So in all it's it's not a huge difference in tone. Uh, it's pretty pretty subtle differences, but uh, you, you when you play them side by side you can hear them. So uh, I hope that answers a few questions about differences in, in wood and some of the other variables in guitar design. Um, if you get a chance look me up on uh, worldinguitars.com.